Hi guys, Mariska Strauss here. So fresh out of Epic. And we are here with the Silverback Stratos that has been recently launched and test piloted through the Absa Cape Epic. The first time I saw this bike, I, well, I actually had to stand back and admire it. Um, it's definitely a bike like nothing I've ever seen before, to be honest. And I actually really, the more you look at it, <laughs> the more you, the more you fall in love. Yeah, I'm super stoked to have been able to, to be one of the first racers to, to actually test pilot it. Well, the Apsa Cape Epic, that's quite an event to take on. Um, we have this amazing, beautiful machine to, to get us through it. It took me a little while, I have to be honest, to, to get used to the geometry. Um, with the setup, um, it, it was quite a quite trick to, to get used to, um, seeing as I've been on the Sesta for about four years now. So it was, it was a slight change, but yeah, it, it, it took me about two or three days into the Epic um, and I'm, I'm definitely in love. It's super responsive, it's compact, it's, it descends like an absolute bullet. Um, the handling of this bike is just, it's just next level. Yeah, so technical climbing on this on this beast is is something else. Um, it's like I said, super responsive. It's actually super rigid and and goes forward. So that that makes it that makes climbing and and getting over stuff a little bit easier. Uh, seeing as every pedal stroke you put down is is energy that goes forward. So it really helps with that. Beautiful. So customization on this bike, um, firstly looking at the top cap there, I changed that to, to get me a little bit lower. I'm quite short and <laughs> I am a female, so uh, I did find it a little bit difficult to, to get low enough. So the normal top cap obviously is a little bit higher than that, but yeah, I had this one custom made uh, just to, to make sure that my bearings don't get exposed to the elements, especially in races like the Epic. Um, and then it comes out with Fox shocks and forks, but um, seeing as I'm a World Cup racer and just to make my life a little bit easier, um, I changed over to Rock Shock. Um, at the back, we're still waiting for my shock, but anyway, um, that, that'll be changed before the World Cup season. So it's just to, to make life a little less complicated and, and get the support I need when I'm at the World Cups. Um, and I actually do love the feel of the Rock Shock. Um, I prefer it above the Fox, but that's per personal preference, I guess. My seat post is also custom. Um, I'm running a 35mm setback just to, to make sure that I get enough setback on the spike. Because of the geometry changes, it's, it was a little bit difficult to get me far enough back with the normal seat post, so, so we opted for, for a little bit more of a setback. It's, it rides perfectly and, and, I, and I got the setup that I needed to, to perform. My tire choice on this bike is the Maxxis Recon Race. Um, I actually recently started using them. I changed over at the beginning of the year and I have to say I'm, I'm really loving the feel of these tires. They're super aggressive and yeah, just actually cornering for days. <laughs> um, it, it really handles super nicely and I think it's part of the reason why this bike handles so beautifully. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to, to test it out today at a World Cup later the year. Yeah, so I'm running the Prologo Dimension Saddle. Um, I find it I find it actually quite comfortable. Um, well, being a female, I need a little bit of a wider saddle to sit on, um, and this one gives that to me. Um, I, I did run the, the aluminium rails one for Epic, just because I <laughs> don't need to take any chances, but I'll pop on the, the carbon one for, for the World Cup just to shed off some weight monitoring what I do and how I do it. Um, I'm running the Wahoo Element Bolt. Um, I started using that about a year ago and absolutely in love with it. I think it's such an underrated piece of equipment. It's so user friendly, the interface is amazing and you know, it's got this really cool app that's just super easy to use. Makes it a lot simpler and you know, it just takes a lot of admin out of actually monitoring and uploading things. If you are ever in the opportunity to, to get hold of one of these, um, be sure to jump at that and, and go, go take it for a spin. You won't be disappointed.